Hey everybody, Reds Fan 1979 back here with a special baseball card video. Uh, this is episode four of Chris's Card Talk. It's Monday, April 8th. Hope everybody's had a, a great weekend. A little disappointed in the Reds baseball. Um, they got shut out twice by the mediocre Pirates and then, you know, Saturday, Sunday when they finally start getting some runs. Then the Pirates get lucky and I don't know, just the smorgasbord of things and it just seems like they can't win a game to save their life. Now they're one and eight, have the worst record in the majors. So not real happy about that. Uh, the the uh, drama in yesterday's game was a little crazy. Um, Puig's just kind of a loose cannon. I, I'm actually kind of regretting the fact that we got him now, but Chris Archer should have definitely been tossed out it was definitely intentional that you were throwing behind somebody. It's ridiculous. Um, you know, so anyways. Um, so the topic for uh, for this week, I thought about doing something about prospecting because I know it's something that a lot of people do. Um, I don't do it to a large degree. I consider it kind of risky, almost like buying individual stocks in the stock market because that's sort of what you're doing. You're buying... Um, you know, pieces of cardboard, either, uh, you know, prospect cards, prospect autos, you know, of players and kind of banking on, um, you know, their future success. Uh, the thing that's a little bit irritating to me is the fact that prospect cards and prospect autos in general are sometimes significantly more expensive than um, established players' autos which is a little bit insane to me. I mean, I, I, I'm, you know, just taking a couple of the reds. I mean, I, I could probably get two Joey Votto autographs for the price of a Nick Senzel prospect auto. Uh, even Hunter Green's prospect auto would be more than a Votto autograph, depending on the type of card, I guess. And, uh, but, you know, so my strategy really with buying prospects is to kind of wait until they've, shown some promise. I usually don't buy them right out of the gate, except for the Reds players. I've been buying some that are a little cheaper, like from 2018. I, I, I bought the Jonathan India and the Mike Ciani, the Bowman Chrome, because those are generally the most valuable, and they were both under $3 each, so I thought, ah, you know, I'll, I'll grab a copy of these. Um, you know, 2018 also, I bought some Hunter Green, because he showed a lot of promise. Um, Nick Senzel, I kind of waited on his cards to buy until he had shown a little bit of promise. Uh, but I did buy his prospect auto. But for you know, for the non-Reds players, I really try to employ the strategy of waiting until um, either until they become a rookie or until they're still a prospect but has shown. A good deal of promise. So I did that last year with Ronald Acuna's 2017 Bowman, the Chrome card. Uh, you know, I, I kind of waited until he was still a prospect in early 2018, and I decided to kind of pull the trigger and buy the card then. And then a few months later, he became, you know, the great rookie that he was. Um, Vladimir Guerrero, he's still a prospect. I kind of did the same thing. The Chrome card was too expensive for me. So I just decided to buy the Bowman Paper Prospect and I, I got it in, in a nice condition. Um, might get it graded. We'll just have to see. I need to look over it more with a fine tooth comb. But, you know, on that one, again, he's been a prospect for a couple years now, but has shown a lot more promise. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought one. Um, so again, you know, let me know what you guys think, you know, what some of your strategies are for prospecting. I've seen some guys out there that are buying, you know, a lot of autos, a lot of high dollar cards. And for me, I think my own personal opinion, like I'd rather buy, unless it's, unless it's Reds players, you know, I kind of employ the Reds players a little differently, but um, I'd rather buy, spend my money on cards of players that I really like or, or quality players that have proven themselves, you know, beef up my Joey Votto collection more or maybe get things more like, you know, Chris Bryant, Mike Trout, rookies, things like that um, for players that have kind of, you know, established themselves a little bit more. So 
Um, again, just a little snippet. Uh, this wasn't a very long video, I know, compared to some of my others, but again, just wanted to get you guys' thoughts on prospecting and kind of how you handle that. Um, you know, what some of your strategies are. You know, do you go big money? You know, do you kind of... I know some. there's some other people that like to buy a lot of low dollar kind of uh, uh, either Bowman Chrome, Bowman's Best Autos, you know, they'll, they'll go buy a bunch that are like $5 or less, kind of spread their money out hoping that maybe something will stick and somebody will, um, you know, get better and, you know, increase over time. So a lot of different ways you can play it. Um, I've kind of told you guys my strategy. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I do have high hopes for some of the Reds prospects. You know, like I said, the ones I've collected are Hunter Green, you know, who was drafted second in 2017. Nick Senzel, who was drafted second in 2016. And hopefully both of them can get off the injury wagon. And um, Hunter Green probably won't break into the big leagues for another year or two. But I'm hoping for Nick Senzel that he could be called up you know sometime later in the year I think that'd be awesome give him a shot especially with the way the red season's been going um, and then also another guy I'm pretty high on uh, Taylor Trammell five-star player um, ended up picking one of his Bowman Chrome uh, draft from 2016 uh, prospect cards for like three or four bucks within the last couple months again because he started showing a lot more promise there's a little bit more story around him so looking forward to him as well so anyways i uh, hope you guys have all had a nice weekend and a great start to your monday and just let me know your thoughts and uh, please like comment subscribe take care